What's up dudes and dudes in the air now? My name's Seth and we are back again for some more Diablo 3. How y'all doing today folks? I hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. We are doing great and <laughs> oh man I am so excited because we're about to be going into this area. Hopefully end up fighting the boss enemy today. I, I hope that it doesn't end up taking me 50 years to end up getting the right path. But anyways before we get started folks I would very much appreciate if you're secretly a sand person uh, like this weird freak or even if you're just normal hit that like button for me I would very much appreciate it, it helps me out more than you know oh yeah now we're entering the sandy domain forget water sand <laughs> oh great there was a waypoint here the whole time I should have went and grabbed that get out of here story I don't care so now what we actually have to do is go this way go this way then go this way and we gotta open uh, three different things wait no only two different things I think yeah I don't know and then there's like some big weird wizard boss he's pretty much actually it's cool I like him because the boss itself we generated uh, champions and other things okay okay champion and a weird legendary boss Reflects damage. That does not sound good at all. That does not sound good. That sounds like it could potentially kill us. Uh, but yeah, so the boss enemy that we're going to be coming across very soon always made me think that he's like a wizard turned bad because he uses a lot of the same abilities that we actually have on our character. Take that, you stupid tower. <laughs> bad guys? Trap? Yeah, always a trap. Always got to be a trap. But yeah, man. He's he's a pretty cool boss, though. Usually, when you ever you end up fighting him, though, like, I, I've had the... Uh, everybody else I always play with on my side characters is always, like, too strong and just kills it right away. Ha! That's just for fun. You don't actually get anything for hitting all those. But the obelisk and everything like that, oh, it's so cool. Bring it! Bring it down! I don't care who you think you are. What can I say, man? Like, seriously. What else can I say? Other than this game is amazing, and these spells are magnificent. I'm just gonna arc on it up because it's beautiful. Like, seriously. I love these abilities. We're so cool. <laughs> Oh, man. Who needs stairs? Yeah. I have magic. Warp up before the cooldown. Yeah. Perfect. Was this actually... No, it wasn't a dead end. I thought it was, but GG, there was this bridge. Potion of Reflection. Yep. I will take that. You secretly are a champion mob. And here, I thought that was just a weakling. Whoops. I'm used to using uh, like our longer our, our longer shots rather than our five fingered glory thing, and so I keep teleporting and then trying to attack the enemies from far away, and it's like, ah, uh -uh, not gonna work. Get destroyed. Yeah, come into my little come into my little bubble, my bubble of safety. It will protect me and keep you dead. Hello, weird crusaders book. Uh, what about this? Anything for experience? No, but it does... Hmm. Well, we could get a little bit of defense on it, but that's okay, because ideally what we would be wanting is another home that replaces our Leoric's crown that is socketed so that we could still put uh, the same gem that we've actually been rocking into it. Hee! Alright, fine. That's cool. All right, well, we got a dead end, but at least we get to kill stuff. That's always fun. Oh, a chest. I didn't even notice it. Anything good? Anything good? Nope. Just someone's wallet. All right. I'm down for that, though. I wonder, what is the point of that bridge up there? That's so weird. Um, Down here? Yeah, okay, good. I'm just going to warp in without even looking. I don't even care. Come get me. What the? 
Those are some weird specters just hanging out on the sidelines. Like, really? What about you guys? You're gonna come out to the fight, right? Get out, specters! Ghosts! <laughs> More ghosts! Let's lure them all! I wanna fight everything! Oh, okay! Okay! Alright! That could potentially go very, very badly! That is a lot of projectiles! And our poor guy ends up getting frozen over and over and over again. Hee hee! See that timing? Oh, it's beautiful. No, no, get yourself distract! I like pretending that this is more intense than it is. Actually, we could have very easily gotten destroyed if uh, we were very careless. Because that, that was a very deadly combo. Uh, <laughs> that was a very deadly combination of different abilities. Like, holy cow. Okay, new abilities. That's always good. Frost Nova Deep Freeze. Gain bonus critical hit chance. Get lost! Alright, fine. I'll destroy the rest of you guys as well before I check out all the goodness. Oh, boy. Well, alright. Alright, alright. Man, those guys are quick. They're annoying because of how fast they are. Yeah, that was cool! Oh, man. Teleported right past his ability. That's so neat. Um, oh, Energy Twister again. Wicked Wind Energy Twister no longer travels, but spins in place, dealing damage to everything caught in it. That's not bad. That's not bad. 835% weapon damage as arcane for six seconds. That's not bad. And what is what is this one right now? Oh. Scorch with Molten Fire. The, oh, that's just the normal one. Uh, so the Meteor itself, how much damage are we dealing? Not as much as the Tornado, oddly enough. Let, let's try it. I'm down for that. I want to try that out. My, I don't know why my voice is all breaky and stuff. Okay. Activate the weird dark portal thing. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It ends up turning into an evil, uh, you know, dark tornado as well. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I like it. Where'd that other guy go? There you are. Just hit him with a tornado. Oh, look, he just walked into another one. Oh, or is that... Is it saying that it's causing um, 835 weapon damage total over the course of seven seconds? Because that would kind of make sense with uh, how that ability was damaging that guy. Because I don't think it would be 800, like over 800% damage every second, meaning it would be 800 and blah, blah, blah times six, right? Which wouldn't end up, mm mm, because that would end up being way too OP. Yeah. So that means that it's probably actually just, yeah. Still a good ability. Because it means that we can kind of leave it in the middle of our uh, beautiful barrier to kind of deal with it and uh, do stuff. Yes! Dude, you can go ahead and be a majestic boss enemy. But I'm like a boss hero! <laughs> oh, that's good. Pool of reflection, I'll take it. Dead end! Oh, teleport's on the wrong button. I should definitely swap that. Like, I should swap the uh, teleport button to three so that I don't have to keep, uh, like, the arcane abilities are always kind of set to whatever hotkey that they're set to. So teleport is always going to end up being three. At least I think, unless there's a separate menu when you go into your arcane form. But I very much doubt it. That wouldn't make any sense. Okay. Okay. Lay down all the traps. All the goodums. Ah, yeah, teleport like Goku. I love it. I love this game. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, you're beautiful. I know I warped right into that poison and it actually hurt me quite a bit, but I don't care. 
Still able to defeat everything that we come across. And we always will. Yoink! What is all this? Just a bunch of garbage? Okay. Doesn't matter. Now, where is... Ooh, you're a champion mob. Ooh, that molten stuff. I mean, granted, these guys are pretty weak. Yeah, they're pretty weak for a champ mob, honestly. <laughs> Good. Give me all your stuff. You die, and then I'll continue onward. Is this the right way, though? I wonder. I like those, I like those black tornadoes. That's really, really cool. I guess that means, is that turning into arcane damage? Uh, yeah, arcane damage, that's why. So it's like the arcane version. That was another spell uh, that's new as far as I'm concerned, folks. Like, it was not a thing. Okay. Okay. We were taking quite a bit of damage there. Taking quite a bit of damage indeed. But uh, that arcane, man, we, we ended up saving our butts. Oh, not to mention the uh, legendary gauntlets that were rocking. Aha! That ended up working out for us very well because uh, every time we get into a fight with the champion, we end up gaining a whole bunch of defense. I heard a treasure goblin. I heard him. Where is he? I heard the little freak. I still hear him. Is he up here? Yeah, there he is. Yes! Die, you stupid, ugly idiot! Actually, you're beautiful, but please give me all your stuff. There we go, that was quick and easy. Resources and an amulet, which could end up being good for us because it's been a while since we ended up getting one. Uh, not as much damage. Oh, ours has XP on it. Rip me. These are not gonna top ours at all. Uh, and then there's a weapon we can't use because, you know, we're beautiful. <laughs> and a mage <laughs> is what I meant to say because I'm pretty sure these are, uh, where's the details of it? I don't know. It just says that we can't use it. Uh, I think a barb can use those and most of the other melee characters and stuff. Uh, that's another thing, too. I guess I should have probably... <clears throat> Jeez Louise. I guess I should have probably mentioned kind of when we first started the series. Uh, but yeah, the thing that's so cool about this game as well is you can actually have any type of weapon on any character and use it effectively and your character is still going to end up using his spells. The only reason I'm bringing that up is because uh, some people that I've uh, talked to, I've seen, you know, say like, oh, you know... What if I end up putting this weapon on this class? What's it gonna do? And it's like... It's, it's different than Diablo 2 because in Diablo 2, you know, like you could be a barbarian and you could end up, um... Okay, that's a champ mob. You could be a barbarian and you would end up, um, using... A bow and arrow. Or a two-handed weapon and stuff. Or dual wielding. And it would actually, like, change the way that he fights. Meh. Give me all the garbage items, please. Yeah, so this is that shadow dimension that I was talking about before. I love those little dudes. At the same time, I don't, because in Act 4, there's a boss that summons like 50 zillion of them. And, uh, huh. Oh, he could end up being a bit of a problem if you're not, not properly prepared. Because you just get completely overwhelmed. You guys won't overwhelm me. You're too weak. I'll just keep destroying every one of you. I, I want to get out of this place, though, because this area, I don't really like. Only because I can't see anything, you know? Oh, great. Well, that's going to be fun. These guys are real big. At least we're doing lots of damage to them. Thank goodness. Yeah, we're doing a lot to these guys. Okay, good. And we leveled up as well. <gasps> More abilities. Die! Jagged ice. Hmm. Frozen solid. Lots of ice abilities. Man alive. Uh, frozen solid. Enemies caught in the blaze have a chance to be frozen. 
Okay. Please leave me alone. I need to see my stuff. Oh, we actually got a new ability for magic missile. Track the nearest enemy and deal additional damage. Not not really as good as the one that we're using right now, at least for my playstyle. I like the ability of phasing through all of the enemies. But yeah, I want to get to that boss fight. Hopefully today, hopefully we'll end up having time for that, folks. Because that would be a great finale for this. But this area is so big. Like, gee, that tower dropped a gauntlet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Bring it. Come on. I don't care. Just, just come to my face so that you can die. Because then we can get out of here as quickly as possible because this place is too dark, man. I can't see nothing. And the lightning hurts my eyeballs is... Oh, there we go. That and that. What did we get so far? We got anything better? These boots are good and they give more XP. And we're not using Meteor anymore anyway. This gives a lot more XP. Uh, has a monk ability only, which who cares? That's okay. Um, extra gold, a little bit of XP, not really. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, we're a little bit slower though, aren't we? Yeah, we lost 12% movement speed. Oh well, that's okay. I just gotta teleport a little bit more often. Now, that also does affect battle. Because we're not gonna be, you know... Moving as quickly and getting away from all the trouble. Evil music! Evil music! Yes! That could have been bad. I love that arcane ability, though. I love it. Alright, boss time. Let's do it. We've got enough time. Screw it. Skip, 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 skip. Are you sure you want to skip this cutscene? Which one's this? Oh, that's them just creating the portal itself. We don't even see that. That's okay. Because otherwise it takes like 50 years. Okay, boss time. Here we come. Let me see. We got all... What is this? Uh, it's not better. All right. Well, we don't have our arcane ability. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Well, this one's a pretty cool cutscene. Mostly just because of that dramatic music, but screw it, we're just gonna fight him, I don't care. Okay, so he's got babies! See, he's using Tornado. We gotta be very careful of this guy. There, he's using his own time barrier. Yes! Causing mega damage to that guy. Come here, you! Ouch! Yes, tank it for me, Templar! That guy's tornadoes too, like they kind of get all up in your face, like... Unlike ours, his kind of, uh... His kind of are a little bit smarter. Okay, he's almost dead, he's almost dead! Arcane! Yes! You're dead like an idiot! <laughs> what just happened? I shall wait in town until you need me. Uh-oh. We got somebody joining my game despite the fact that it is a private game. How do you actually kick somebody? Well, you know what? That's okay. We perfectly ended up finishing here. That kind of sucks, though, because I say it to a private game, and I don't want somebody coming in the game to leech and stuff. At least me, I mean, because he's, like, really overpowered max level and everything like that. Uh, I do play with randoms. I do gotta say, yes, I do play with random people. Uh, but I do it with my other characters, not my LP character. So, yeah. Let's just do this. Go back to town. Uh, sort our inventory and everything like that. And then I guess I'll have to look online and try to figure out why exactly people can join my game despite it being private. Like, that's really, really weird. Is this a better ring? No, it isn't. Is this a better chest? No, it isn't. Then we've got something for the scoundrel and another uh, amulet, which is okay, but not really that good. Uh, either way, thanks for watching, everybody. I very much appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed. Sign and stay epic. <laughs> <laughs>